M3RD reviews here and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Series 2 Prometheus figure, the Deegan. Really excited to have this figure, being a fan of Aliens, this guy is something I really sought out. And if you watched my haul video I posted over the weekend, you see I picked up the Deacon and the David 8 figure as a combo for 25 bucks at Frankenstein's, which is a really good price. So let's have a look at the Deacon figure in packaging. You see it says Deacon, Prometheus. Same standard packaging as the previous series. You have the Deacon in package. It looks really nice. You see some of his accessories. He comes with the engineer head. The flight suit helmet that was uh, they dissected. As well as those... Uh, chest burster like things it says Prometheus up top and here's the back of the packaging Prometheus the Deacon quick read up willing to pause and read up on that if you'd like nice image of the figure with his uh, inner jaw or tongue coming out pretty dynamic pose they have him in a look at the other figures in the line. Uh, here's a series one. We have the engineer chair suit and engineer pressure suit, which we already got. This series, which is David Eight and Deacon, I picked up both of those. And um, the next series, which is Holloway and Fifield, those both look really good. And at the bottom it says Wayland Corp. Pretty All right, nice so we're just going to take a second, get this guy to packaging, and have a closer look at him. Stay tuned. So here we have the Deacon figure out of packaging. He comes with some pretty good accessories. Let's go ahead and get those out of the way first. He comes with the the serpent-like chestbuster-like creature. This one has the the open mouth. And this one has the clothes. These are uh, pretty bendable. They have a, a wire in here so they can hold a decent a decent amount of poses. These are pretty nice. Again, it comes with both. Really nice display pieces. And uh, his best accessory, of course, is the the engineer head with the the spacesuit helmet. From the the part where they uh, did the autopsy on the engineer head when they brought it back to the ship. So you have the dead face. Really expressive. Sort of rotten. Eyes are blacked out open mouth. This is made out of a really heavy plastic material. It's really nice they gave us that. I'm not sure why it came with a Deacon, but yeah, it's really nice they gave us that. And he also comes with the his base. So let's have a closer look at the figure. Again, this is a really Okay, so let's really have a nice closer figure. look at the Deacon and this is really an excellent figure. As you can see the details in the head and the mouth. It's a really thin figure. Again, on the movie, this figure comes fresh out of the engineer. And he's all slimy and gooey in the figure. It looks really nice. You can see the teeth and the inner tongue or jaw, whatever it is on this guy. Probably the inner tongue. He has a really sharp point at the back of his head very movie accurate I like all the slime and extra details they put into this guy he has sort of an arch an arch pose he's standing in you can see and he comes with this base which he pretty much cannot stand without because he's standing on his toes it's glad they provided this nice base it's a clear so it doesn't disrupt your display by any way if you look at his hands there's the same little rib cage that the aliens have down to the knees and the the bin. He has this weird stance, like uh, how the Resurrection aliens were in part, uh, Aliens Part Four: the Resurrection. It's backwards slant at the bottom of his ankles. Yeah, it's a really nice figure. Figure I've been looking forward to since I seen some of the images from last year's Comic Con. He's a great figure. And as far as articulation, this guy, his mouth can open. And the inner jaw, as you see, can extend out. The jaw actually drops down, and the tongue can come out. So that's really nice. And it just snaps back in. It can almost close. Comes down and then out, and then you push it back and it closes up. He has this uh, swivel and up and down at the neck. Probably a ball joint. 
He has a uh, hinged shoulders, a rotation at the the elbow area, and a rotation at the wrist. The waist looks like it, it has a swivel. It's pretty tight. Just a bit of an ab crunch. The groin area, the hip area can go back and forth and out about that far. Same thing on both sides. There's a nice bend at the knee. This thing can go all the way in. And the ankles can rotate. As you see, he stands on his toes, so without the, the base, he probably he wouldn't be able to balance. That's pretty much it for articulation, but this, the detail on this guy is amazing. Really suggest you guys pick this guy up. And for a quick size comparison, I have him standing next to the the other Series 2 uh, David 8 figure and the Series 1 engineer in the chair suit. And this is probably the smallest Prometheus figure we've got so far, clearly the smallest. I have him on a really a really crouching pose but either way he, he's a lot smaller than uh, the engineer and quite smaller than David as well but a really nice pickup a really nice figure I suggest everyone go get this guy uh, pick up David as well if you haven't check out my review of David and the uh, review of the engineer in the chair suit this is a great figure he comes with excellent accessories as you can see he comes with the the serpent guy two of those he comes with the base and he comes with the engineer head, which is amazing. You're going to want this guy to just play with your human figures. So, yeah, uh, these guys, I don't know if they hit stores yet. I picked mine up at Frankenstein's, but I'm sure they'll be hitting the stores pretty soon. I recommend everyone pick these guys up. These are by NECA. Their Prometheus line is excellent. And this is N3ID Reviews. Thanks for watching. Please like, rate, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thanks, and just in case anyone's interested, here he is next to an um, a alien figure. This is the McFarlane Classic Alien. As you can see, they have a lot in common. This guy doesn't have a tail, of course. But just a quick insight is maybe how the evolution took place. Pretty nice. Here's the uh, face hugger versus these guys. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.